Hello guys, it's your favorite DIY guy again. Uh, this time around, I want to be I want to talk to you about um, the DSTV remote control. But before we go ahead with that, let's just talk about the coronavirus. Let's try to keep our hygiene top notch. Wash our hands as much as we can when we don't have access to water and soap. Let's get um. A, you know, a mobile sanitizer, alcohol based sanitizer, you know, use it to um, wipe our hands till we get access to water and let's keep the social distancing. And if we're going to sneeze and cough, we do it into our elbows, don't let's do it openly. Let's try and keep, you know, our families and friends safe and we'll beat this at the end of the day. So, Back to what we're here for. We're going to be talking about the DSTV A7 remote control. This remote control comes with the DSTV Explorer, and um, I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with this. I want to show you that you can use this remote control to control your TV and your decoder. So that way, you don't have to always. Uh, put a lot of remote controls by your side or you know having to store a lot of remote controls you can just have this with you at the comfort of your chair or on your bed if you know it's in your room and you can control both your dstv decoder and your tv sets but in this case um i'm going to be using a dstv hd single view decoder the the explorer is in the living room but you know, I have the A7 remote control for both decoder, so I'm just going to show you how to use this to control the DSTV and the TV sets. So let's go on. So the feature I'm going to be showing you is a quick setup for TV brands that are assigned to the numbers on the remote control they've been assigned automatically by um, multi-choice by DSTV but you can also program the remote control manually to your TV's remote that's called um, that's called learning TV signals of the remote control but this one this time around, I'm just going to show you the quick setup because most of the TVs that we have here in Nigeria are TVs that are, you know universal brands like um, LG Samsung is like the major TV sets that we have here so I'm just gonna show you the one for LG because the one I have right here is LG and I will just tell you about Samsung but basically it works for most TVs you just have to go through the numbers the program from 1 to 0 for Samsung it's 7 but for LG it's four some of them might be five but i'm just going to run through it with you so you just know what to do when you're trying to do yours so what we need to look at now is the the buttons that are dual signal configured as in you can use for the decoder and you can use for the tv is you have this for the power button for the tv you have this as the power button for your decoder you have this at the volume rocker that's the volume plus volume minus for it can work for either your tv or your decoder and you have this for changing the channel on your tv and changing the channel on your decoder those are the only buttons that you can share for the tv and the decoder so to get started you can have your tv on you will have to press the tv power button up here and the ARC button down here. You have to press them together. You press it for more than three seconds. You get the LED light that will be flashing for like um, two short red flashes and the light stays on. When the light stays on, it's indicating that the remote control is now in a programming mode. Then you press down the number that has been assigned for your TV. In this case, it's number four but if you don't know you can start from one and run it down to zero but i'm going to tell you what to do when you press down the number it's going to show 
light up here a green light it's going to stay but it's going to be blinking at intervals when it's blinking it's sending a signal to the tv trying to find the configuration for the signal when you see any form of uh, maybe channel change or volume change or tv going off just remove your hand from that number and let it blink the light is going to blink two or three times green blinks when it does that it's storing that program and once it stores that program it means what you're trying to do has been successful then you can now try to turn off the tv and turn it on once we're done with that i'll now show you how to you know select if it's the decoder you want to change the, you know increase the volume or decrease the volume or if it's the tv that you want to increase the volume or decrease the volume i'll go into that after but don't program them this now so like i said you just hold down the tv and the arc together it's blinking so i'm just going to hold down this button now you can see the green light blinking at intervals it's sending signals to the tv So one of it works so i can see that the tv is coming on i've removed my hand it has blinked and it's stored so to be sure i'm just going to press this the tv is off i'm going to press it again the tv has come on so it means that has been successful but now i'm trying to increase the volume but the volume you can see that's the dstv volume being changed but we want the tv's volume to be the one that we're controlling so to do that you just have to press and hold down these buttons the arc and you're going to hold down the arc and the volume plus button together when you do that you're going to see that red light blink when you do that you can see now it's increasing the volume of the TV. It's decreasing the volume of the TV. But because we're on um A V um HDM HDMI um, selection, we won't be able to change the channel, but right now we're increasing and decreasing the volume of the TV. And you can turn off the TV, turn it on. It's on and you can see it's still increasing and decreasing the volume of the TV. When you want to take it back to the decoder's configuration, you just press down this ARC and volume minus. When that red light flashes, now we're back to the decoder's volume up and volume down. But the power button for the TV will still work. That one stays on permanently. And that's about it. You can turn off the decoder if you want to. The decoder is off, but the TV is still on. I'll turn on the decoder. The decoder is on, and the TV is still on. So, you can actually control your TV and your decoder with just one remote control. And, um, like I said, for Samsung, it's 7. For LG, it's 4. You just have to hold down the button of the number until... You see that there's been a change on your TV. Then you release that button. The light here flashes. It's storing the program. Once it stores it, that's it. You've got your dual functionality remote control. Like I said, it's the DSTV A7 remote control. It comes with the DSTV Explorer. And um, that's about it. So I hope this will be useful for some people out there that use um, the DSTV um, franchise and um, at least that way we get to reduce the numbers of remote controls we have on our bedside or on our center tables at home so I hope I've been able to add to our field of knowledge thank you very much and like I said 
it's corona season let's keep safe let's try and beat this thing as soon as possible so we can go back to our normal life thank you